Hey, good morning everyone. Kay here on the homestead and it's all about maintenance right now. We are in a two week heat wave. Not sure when we're getting rain and so we're just trying to maintain what we've got. Um, my new helper is here today and he pointed out we shouldn't be planting anything. I still have some plants you can see right there that need to go in the ground but he said unless you plan to stand there and, and keep it wet there's no point in planting anything right now so I am right now I am working on the comfrey and I'll show you what I'm doing with that I'm gonna be making compost tea and um, he is here watering and we are um, giving some support to <laughs> the cucurbits that are gonna survive this heat wave and um, I was about to pull some weeds because the weeds have just gone crazy and he said don't even be pulling weeds right now because um, it brings the moisture up and it dries the soil out I was thinking just the opposite I was thinking get the weeds out because the roots of the plants are competing for the moisture so and I had just seen this uh, interesting video. I say interesting because it's still hard for me to believe, but uh, Hugh Richards has a great channel and he was talking about, he has a new appreciation, I don't know if you call it appreciation, but he has a new thought about pulling weeds. And, and it was a really interesting video. And I thought, wow, but if, I mean, it sounds great in theory, but if you if you leave the weeds, the weeds are stronger than the plants and they'll take over. Well, this uh, comfrey never got planted out, divided and planted out. And in the heat wave, sitting on this driveway, this asphalt baking, radiating heat up, it just fried it. So I'm taking the green leaves and I'm chopping them up and I'm gonna make compost tea. This was, uh, I was reminded to do this by one of my fans, John, and so that's what I'm doing. And what you do is you just chop up the leaves and you fill it with water and you cover it. I don't have a lid for this, but I need to get one. And you just wait until it's like two weeks or something. It's going to smell horrible. And then you strain it off. It'll be gooky. This stuff will be really gooky. That's a um, made up word and you strain it off and then you dilute it and spray it on your plants or pour it on your plants. You won't believe how bad this smells if you've never done it. I don't have a lid for this right now, so I'm just, until I do, I'm just going to put this here. And we'll check back <laughs> in a couple of weeks. Meanwhile, I'm going to just leave these dried up leaves on here as mulch to keep the soil moist during the heat wave. One thing I'm really looking forward to is making mullein tincture because it's good for so many lung issues. And you see I got a little bug here. I don't know if you can call that a pollinator or not. <laughs> But you collect the leaves and dry them. They're very fuzzy. Deer don't usually like fuzzy leaves. So they haven't eaten these. And they're right by the forest, so they could easily do that. I was thinking this whole thing would be in bloom at once. And that's when you collect the blooms. But I have... Let's see... Well, I guess all of these in this circle here are two-year plants because it, it only blooms every other year. 
and all of these dead leaves at the bottom were last year's leaves. But it looks like every one of these is putting up a flower stalk. Now over here, these don't look like they're going to. So either sweat bees or surfeit flies, which are pollinators. At any rate, I'm going to collect some leaves now and dry them. One of the things I meant to do is a video on red clover. It was in full bloom in here. As you can see, either the heat wave or it's just the natural cycle, but it is covered in mildew. Oh my word. But look at this. Wow. I'm picking blueberries. Oh, it's that's longer than that. It's wow. pretty small foot. So you're just gonna leave it in a pile and leave right, it laying I'm, there? I'm gonna pull this out. Okay. I'm up. Well, you got cardboard to hold the weeds down. Some cardboard, yeah. Mm -hmm. But obviously not enough, or I wouldn't have had so many yeah, weeds. This is quite the killer at old crab grass. Oh, I know. I got that's that all good. over back there. Yeah, it goes everywhere. Powdery mildew on clover. It just doesn't seem right. I went to visit this gal in California, and she she just barely pulled and she had she had a shallot thing that was like six times as this is a little oops maybe we should leave it if it doesn't want to come right up i think i just broke it she just pulled hers out yeah if they'd had more water they might have been bigger we can tell the red and whites. You just put the shallots in one, and then we'll we'll put the red and whites in the other. That's a white one right there, isn't it? No, those are all shallots. Really? Mm-hmm. Everything back there. Yeah, they're just ready to come out. I mean, they're not that big, but considering all that I went through. <laughs> A lot of them got washed out. They just come right out. You got a lot there. Okay, so that's, there were only two rows of, mm -hmm. okay, so that's all the shallots. Okay. We should have brought three yeah. baskets. <laughs> yeah, on this end, okay. red ones. work, huh? Mm -hmm. What else? Is that it? Mm -hmm. Wow. Fantastic. Ah, here's one. Look at, oh, <laughs> hey, I'm pretty happy considering all I went through. That looks good. Wow, look at the corn today. This is third planting of corn. Just got watered. It's gonna have to be thinned, but we'll wait for that. 
these peas have already got hit with bugs. I sprayed them yesterday. Hey everybody, I'm so excited. I mean, yeah, it could be a lot more, sure. It always could be a lot more, but I got my shallots in this, this one and I got my red and yeah, I should have like three times as many onions compared to what I planted, but hey, at least I got some. It's been a rough year. I clipped some mullein leaves and rather than putting them in the dehydrator and having that thing running all day, burning electricity, I am just putting them in black trays and they're gonna get about three hours of direct sun coming up any minute starting. So that may do the trick, we'll see. I'll just check them about halfway through and see if they're dry. They have to be crispy dry in order to make the tincture. I got a big dragonfly here. They're so pretty. Oh, shoot. Come here. I'm not going to hurt you. Oh. You see it? Oh, yeah. It's got lace wings. Yeah. Oh. Okay. I'm about two-thirds of the way down the blueberry row, and then I gotta move on to blackberries. But I'm definitely gonna be making some cobbler. Okay, it's been an hour, and they're starting to get dry. So I think by the time Two more hours, they ought to be done. I don't know. It's really interesting that some bushes have a lot and this bush didn't have a single berry on it, not one. And maybe that's because there's a hole in the netting here <laughs> and the birds got in, I don't know. But I, th I think if the birds had gotten in, all of these would be gone. So, sun is hitting, I have to work fast. I wanna weigh that. That might be a record for me. <laughs> Is that about a pint? Uh, a little more. Okay. So that was just a quick little update for today. Um, I think we're supposed to get a little bit of a break in the weather, so we'll see. Thank you so much for following my channel, following my story here on the homestead. I'm Kay, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. If you're interested in, in what I'm doing here, building a homestead, trying to be sustainable, stocking up. We've got a lot going on in the world and I hope I can be a voice and inspiration for you. So thanks so much and I'll see you in the next video.